So, wait, okay, let's make this a little bit bigger. So yesterday, I got an invitation that looked like this. Yeah. I was so psyched because I got to meet Indonesia's third president, Bapak Rudi Habibi. Oh, okay, um, what? Cancel. Anyways, in this case, Eyang Habibi. So it turns out I was invited because Eyang Habibi needs my help in spreading the word about the R80. What is an R80? Yeah, I don't know either. Um, anyways, watch this video to find out. Okay, here we go. Smiley face! Satu-satunya yang bisa menghubungkan dari Sabang sampai Merauke atau tiap titik di benua maritim Indonesia itu adalah pesawat terbang. Kita harus mampu membuatnya sendiri. Untuk hal itu dibutuhkan pembiayaan funding. Kalau rakyat sesuai kemampuannya mengadakan crowdfunding itu menggarisbawahi bahwa ada political will dari rakyat untuk bisa menguasai teknologi dan membuatnya sendiri. R80 ada awal dari seri pesawat-pesawat penumpang. So basically the R80 is a plane, is a passenger plane that is designed by Eyang Rudi Habibi and his son. We've always had it from different country, but this time it's Indonesian made. When I arrived at Eyang Rudi Habibi's house, we got a tour of the house. And this right here is Eyang's grandson, but not like first grandson like I'm not sure how he explained it, but he's his grandson somehow. <laughs> Jadi cucu langsungnya sebentar lagi akan nyampe. Namanya Tiffany, dia anaknya um, Ilham Habibi. Anyways, um, so first we got a house tour. We saw his garage, which basically looks like a parking lot because he had so many cars. <laughs> And we're standing on the archipelago of Indonesia. We got to see all the different rooms of the house and all the different parts because there's like three separate parts, if I'm not mistaken, of the house itself. And we went into the library, the Habibi and Ainun library. There were other YouTubers, uh, some of them you might know. There's Kevin Hendrawan, there's Ben Akribo, there's also Kemal Palevi, and still some more. But after that, we had a one on one session with Eyang Rudi Habibi, and let me tell you, I was super, super, super scared. Well, not necessarily scared, but I was, I didn't know what to say. I was sweating so much. I don't know if you can see it. But, anyways, here's the clip, and this is what I asked him. Oke, okay, selamat saya, eh selamat saya. <laughs> selamat sore Eyang. Nama saya Tati Izati. Di sini ada beberapa pertanyaan untuk Eyang. Pengen tahu perbedaan pesawat R80 dibanding pesawat uh, lainnya itu apa? Rai itu ada perusahaan namanya PT Rai Regional Aircraft Industries. Dia membuat, merancang bangun pesawat-pesawat terbang yang paling canggih untuk region the jarak uh, pendek dan menengah terbang. Dari dulu itu apa life motto yang apa kan quotes yang yang uh, pegang itu. Waktu saya di SMP, SMA ya toh. Yeah. Itu kan mata pelajarannya mulai dari sejarah sampai yang ilmu pasti, ilmu alam dan sebagainya. 
kalau sejarah saya belajar cukup-cukup pandai, pokoknya lulus. Tapi kalau untuk yang saya ingin tahu banyak, saya nggak belajar untuk lulus, saya belajar untuk mau tahu lebih banyak. Dan setelah itu uh, tidak takut untuk mengembangkan ide-ide baru. Konsisten, apa bahasa kita istiqomah apa namanya? Istiqomah yeah, kan? Ya, yeah, konsisten, istiqomah. So you're maybe thinking, how do you help? Because maybe you're like me, you don't know anything about planes, so you can't physically help. Well, you might. But at least you can give a little bit of your money and any amount is helpful. It can be from 20,000 rupiah up to 1 million rupiah and it would be very, very helpful for the cause. Also, did you know that if you donate 100,000 rupiah, your face will be on the plane? How cool is that? So my trip yesterday to Ayang Habibi's house was very insightful and I learned quite a lot. And I love his energy and it really inspired me in a way to, you know, do something about anything. Maybe not necessarily about this plane, but maybe about other things. And you can also do it from kitabisa.com where basically you can ask other people to help you out for a greater good or a greater cause. All right, well, I think I've talked too much. Anyways, you can check out more on the links down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. That was really, that was really weird. Kita bisa terbangkan sahabat Indonesia.